Hey there everybody, Matt here from Matt's Trains and Tractors. As you can see, we've got a pretty good haul today from the recent Greenberg Train Show in Edison, New Jersey. I've got about eight uh, scale pieces of rolling stock here from Lionel to MTH Rail King uh, and as well as Atlas. I've also got an old Lionel track maintenance car here, also known as the Spark Car. This is something my father and I have been wanting for a while. We'll take a deeper dive into this. Before we unbox all these items today, I'm just gonna talk about where I am right now. We're on a new uh, additional siding here, which is going to be a future chemical switching plant slash uh, local train switching plant. I revealed this in my most recent layout update. Feel free to check that out at the top right corner of your screen right here. Uh, I revealed this in my most recent layout update, and this is going to be a place where a lot of future videos are going to be held. As you guys probably know, a majority of the layout is covered by elevated tracks, so it makes it a little difficult to do reviews. But now this area is not going to have any elevated tracks, and I'm really going to try and bring the scenery to life here. So without further ado, let's dive into what we picked up today at the Greenberg Train Show in Edison, New Jersey. All right, so starting things off with the Atlas uh, Suburban Propane tanker car at the top. This car uh, stood out to me. It was on the top of a shelf, and something that really stood out to me was the price. Uh, as we all know, Atlas makes great rolling stock, very, very detailed. It's also very, very fragile. Um, and when I saw that this car was only going for 35 bucks, I figured I'd make an offer on it. And you know, after a little bit of negotiating and getting to know the owner a little better, I was able to get it for $30. And just from the box, this car looks amazing. So let's take the plastic off. Always wanna be extremely careful with Atlas. It's all right if the box falls apart, the car is what matters. All right, and here we go. We've got the Suburban Propane Gas Service Anywhere. It's got a few scuffs on the side of it. It's obvious that the car was used, but it is a really unique piece. It's long. It's definitely gonna be used on some of the modern tank trains that I like to run. Love all the detailing on the separately applied grab irons, catwalk at the top. Very detailed car. I love it. Got a great price, 30 bucks. Was able to talk it down from 35 to 30. Atlas coming again with making some great rolling stock. Let's move on to the next item. So purchasing this yellow Cargill hopper, I bought it in a trio with these two TTX Husky stacks at the bottom. I was able to get it for a great price. I believe I paid 150 bucks for the three of them. Uh, and this hopper really stood out to me. It's yellow. It looks very sharp. All right, now taking the plastic off. You know, it's not too often you see a piece of yellow rolling stock, uh, not just on the main line, but also on the model train table as well. Um, something this yellow, this is extremely yellow and mm, now closing those knuckle couplers, those feel extremely solid. All the lettering is very visible and legible. Honestly, I think this car might be brand new, might be new in box. Looks great, Lionel, great rolling stock. Let's move on to our next item. Now, some may say that, you know, buying gray hoppers are generic. However, when you're trying to model real life freight trains and manifest trains, Hoppers are something that you look forward to. When I was going throughout the tables today and throughout the different rows at the Greenberg train show, I had nothing in mind that I planned on purchasing. Um, however, you know, when you do go to train shows, you always do have something in mind. Like when I went to the Greenberg train show last year, I was planning on picking up uh, reefer cars and old style box cars, which I was successful in purchasing. In uh, today's haul, I was really focused on buying uh, freight cars from the modern era to model manifest trains. So this is an MTH hopper. Looks great. It is the Andersons. Let's check out the other hopper that I bought along with it. All right, now checking out the second hopper that I bought along with the first one. It is a Continental Grain Company three bay center flow hopper. I thought these two hoppers looked really nice next to each other considering that they are both gray and have a rather simplistic uh, decaling on the side of them, but also they are scale and up to the same size. So this is just like the other one, a three bay center flow hopper, Continental Grain Company. No scuffs it looks like, it's in great condition. Let's move on to the next item. Stepping away from the modern rolling stock, let's take a look at something from the post-war era. This. Lionel box is in pristine condition considering the era that it's from and even at the top of it you'll see the original instructions that came along with it. If you haven't noticed already there is the old track maintenance car down here which does belong to my father 
And if you're really good on your model train knowledge, you'll know that there is a little person that should be up here with a flag. And whenever one of these bumpers gets hit, the person rotates and the car operates in the other direction. As you can see, our car is missing that operator with the flag. And as I remove the original instructions from the top, you'll see that in this car, the flag and the guy, which did fall out during transport, are present here. Let's unbox this further. Now, this track maintenance car is really in pristine condition. There are very, very few scuffs. The bumper switches just like it was brand new. And inside the box, we have the elevated platform with the price tag on it. Definitely take that off. And the platform sits right up there. And our crew figure, he slides right on top. And then this danger and safety first sign, which is different on both sides, goes on to this pole here. And whenever the car changes direction, the sign flips around to display what's on the other side. That's pretty cool. As we move on to our next item, don't let the quality of the box distract you from the contents inside. When I saw BNSF, I was immediately interested. For those of you who have been longtime fans and subscribers of the channel, you probably know that I've always been a sucker for BNSF things. And considering I really don't have a lot of BNSF things on the layout, I figured that this car was an opportunity to acquire some of that. I'm not sure if I've stated this publicly, but one of the items on my pre-order list is a Burlington Northern SW1 switcher from one of Lionel's more recent catalogs. And although this is not Burlington Northern, it's of the same idea. This is Burlington Northern Santa Fe, beautiful box car, and I figured it would go nicely with the switcher that I have on pre-order, which will be arriving soon. This box car features sliding doors on both sides. See right through. How's it going? And like I said, the box was not in the best condition. However, this car looks to be treated very well, very nicely, and is something that you would see on the modern rails today. Now, this was one of the first things I actually put my eyes on in the show. It was in a different part of the show, and I can't really say I took an organized route throughout it. However, I've always been on the hunt for U.S. Army uh, flatbed cars. And when I saw that MTH Rail King had one, I figured I might as well talk to the gentleman and try and negotiate a price. Now, this item is the only item from my haul that I was not able to negotiate a price with. Now, this car seems to be in very good condition. He said it is brand new. All right, now with all of the wires and styrofoam off, like I said, this car and tank are brand new, or new in box, I should say. Uh, so they were packaged very nicely. Now, the tank does have an operational and rotating turret. The treads do rotate. Uh, they do rotate in tandem too, so when I turn one side, the other side does turn as well. Now, I'm not an expert on tanks, so I had to refer to the bottom, but it is an M4A3 Sherman tank, and it looks fantastic, and I'm very happy to finally be in possession of a United States Army flat car with a tank on board. Now, the next two items are the same. They are TTX Husky Stacks. They are the largest from the hull, and since they are identical, we're just going to unbox this one and I'll unbox the other one off camera to save some time. Now, if you guys do remember, on pre-order, I do have four Husky stacks. Two of them do have graffiti on them, and the other two are regular. They are a little smaller than these, and they are made by Lionel. But I'm very happy to finally pick up some MTH uh, TTX stuff, uh, because this is huge and it looks awesome. Dropping this out of the box carefully. I must say, all the packaging on these items from the haul today, extremely well packaged. All the styrofoam is very nicely in place. Just slowly removing the plastic. Always love how MTH puts the uh, coupler covers on their cars. I believe that's something Lionel recently started doing as well. Here we go, one of two TTX. This number is 645011. And I believe the load Yep, does come on and off. And these two at the bottom, I think they even separate from each other. Maybe not. Yes, they do. And then this goes right at the top, just like that. 
and there you go. Have yourself a train. Alrighty, everyone. Well, I would consider this haul to be successful. In total, I picked up eight scale pieces of rolling stock, which are on these yard tracks right here. And my father decided that he was finally going to fulfill his dream of completing his spark car, a.k.a. Lionel track maintenance car, uh, by getting one that is in almost mint condition with this safety first reversible sign as well as the crew figure because on his original one it was missing that. I'm Matt from Matt's Trains and Tractors. Very appreciative of you guys watching. Thank you so much. Feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. Stay safe and stay tuned.